Okay, how's it ladies and gents? Um, we're up in Joburg here and uh, yeah, we come to do some stuff up here and thought uh, we'd kill two birds with one stone. So we've pulled up to a section of the vol here and uh, yeah, we're going to try and uh, do a, a new sort of facet of fishing for me anyway. It's not new, but um, something that I haven't indulged in, in a lot, which is carp fishing or otherwise known in Afrikaans as papkoi. So yeah, um, Basically, going to go through a couple of the setups that we're using, and hopefully we get one to show you what it's what it's all about. Anyway, I'm going to hand you over to uh, Raynaud here. Yeah? He's the master at all of this. So, just hang on a sec. Okay, how's it, guys? Uh, yeah, we're using some flour. There's a lot of recipes out there. The ideal way to do it is to mix a little bit of sugar into it just to make it more sticky. Uh, we don't have that with us, so our main ingredient that's going in with the flour is this. It's got to be ice cold. Very, very important ingredient. <laughs> very, very important, yeah. We actually sample that ingredient a couple times before we before we make the final mixture. <laughs> okay, guys, and then we tied that up on the hook, yeah? So on the front of the hook, you got your floaty. And then you use this, just a little piece as the backing. It just also holds the flavor of whatever flavor you're putting up. But the reason is that that holds it down like that and then your floaty floats up like this and it keeps it like that. So the idea is when the carp comes past, you'll suck up your bomb. Your bomb will lay like that, that will dissolve up, your hook should lay close by like that. So when the carp comes past, he sucks up everything and then the idea is that he would sorry, suck this up, if it stands like that, in his mouth and then when he spits it out, that's when this hooks him up. Oh, that makes a lot of sense, eh? And okay. then the other little trick is this is all rigged up now. Then so you don't tangle in your cast in that, just push the hook tip in here. And you do the same other side, just push your hook tip into the bomb. So now everything can go in the cast and it doesn't tangle and wind and stuff and it lands all nicely together. Okay. Yeah. Nice man. So yeah, guys, the tips that I got from that is the flower mixture that you see over there. That actually weighs it down so the floaties stand straight up off the ground and um, yeah, makes that hook nice and proud for your hook set. And yeah, obviously, before casting, push it into your pup, and that's it. So, yeah, guys, this is probably like the first or second or second time basically that I've ever done carp fishing. And yeah, we're gonna throw these out, and hopefully, when we see you again, we'll have a decent vol down carp on the other end. All right, stay tuned. Running. Oh, Reynolds on, Daddy. Nice, Reynolds. That's a nice. Looks like a better one, huh? How does it feel? Yeah, I like it. Feels nice. It's fish. A fish is a fish, bro. This one was four, huh? Yeah. Both of them, oh, even. This is, a better fish. is it? Yeah. Okay, so Reynolds on here with the better fish. Hopefully, it's a carp this time. So we can show you guys what a, the carp looks like. But sure, I must say I'm very impressed. Uh, first time uh, fishing with with pup and that for carp, and uh, I must admit it's quite lucky. I won't say it's, 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 it's as intense as bass fishing, you know, like power fishing and stuff like that, but um, you wait a lot of the time. But also, just like a chill vibe, if you're looking to relax, quite a nice thing to do. Bring that fish, boy. Yeah. You, you want to walk down the bank with it? What's it a copy? Yeah, a copy. Nice. There it comes. Oh, nice cop. Nice little cop. See if we can land it now without the net. Can huh? yeah, I bring it? Yeah, it comes off the water. Off, off, off. No, it's okay. 
Nice bro. Shut up. Rather that than injuring it on the side. Okay guys, so apparently we don't have a net, so it was a bit of a long line release. But nice. Nice cop. Hold on, bro. Hey Laka, first alarm went. Is it on? It's on you, hopefully. Yeah. Huh? Ah, yeah, oh, nice. On. What was that? Garlic and... Paraba, yeah? It's small. Yeah, well, it's a fish. It's yeah, come closer. No, like uh, on the scoreboard. Oh, it looks like a muddy. Pull him here on the side, so we want engine. Small one, didn't grab the net now. Well, yeah, it's a muddy. Hold him. We just handle him careful. And hook him nicely and let him go. That's a indigenous fish. That's why they normally get uh, people take uh, good care of them. A lot of damage you're not allowed catching them. It's one of our indigenous species. Nice. Hey guys, look at that. Beautiful fish. I'll stop the video. So Reynard um, dropped the last fish. And two seconds later, he's on with another fish. So it's happening here, guys. Very lucky spot. Must admit, I didn't expect it to be this active. But yeah, very lucky to catch a few fish, man. With a different way, on a different like style of fishing. Awesome. What are you calling, Reynard? Muddy Barber. Oh, muddy. Muddy. Mm. Okay, let's check. Muddy's got that little head shake normally. Yeah, my, my missus also has a little head shake when I ask to go fishing and she gives that little head shake. <laughs> yeah, they all do, huh? <laughs> yeah, Barbara. Barbara, I tune you. Okay, I never. I, may, I said you can call it, but... It's a bigger Barbara than yours. Bro, the day is yet a baby, bro. Yeah, we my brandy and coaching. First man I see, he's got a little premix. In a 200 ml bottle and fighting a fish. <laughs> oh well. Still counts. What's that? Fish six. We win our five. Which one is it? It's double hook. Come out. Hold the rod. Okay. Oh yo. Put both hooks in his mouth. Huh? He's oh, greedy. No, 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 it's not. Grab him by his mouth because he's slimy. Yeah, I just want to get the one hook out. Then I can do so that. That's safe. You can do that. Small hook at caught him, huh? Mm. Oh. Like a Reynard. Uh, it's almost swims, swims away slowly to say, hey, <laughs> that was fun. Still like that. Still better than being at work, huh? Uh, a, a bad day's fishing is better than a good day at work. Why are you at the range well? Number nine, bro. Taught you well. Kung Fu Panda. Learner <laughs> becomes a teacher. <laughs> got a good master. Got a good trainer. There was that bomb with all that multicolors. <laughs> third time. This is third fish like it. But it's the same fish. That's the problem. Mm. <laughs> oh wait, it's afternoon. Still score, keeping us busy. See, what are you swimming to do?
What have you got an ID? Black oh, tail. cop. A black tail, bro. <laughs> black tail caught in Pine Town. <laughs> Hmm, same one, little copy. Lacker man. It'll be okay. Sorry, jump. <laughs> See, Kurt's playing dirty. I was just about to cast my bait in, <laughs> and then he gets a fish. Number eight, Papa. <laughs> dirty player, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it's a school of these little ones. But I'm not complaining, it's action. Yeah. Like a pop hoy. Papua is not that boring if the fish is biting all the time. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> I think these fish are actually doing us a favor. <laughs> hey. oh, next oh, time we go to Poiki and Papua. Oh yeah, Muddy. Muddy. Hello, Muddy, my old friend. Ah, that's the same one you caught this morning. <laughs> Said, ah, no, that does like He just takes pictures of me and then he lets me go. Don't worry, mom. I'll be okay. Watch his move. I'll be back now. <laughs> Nice, a lot of muddies here. Yeah. That's good. Hey boys. Nice little muddy. Shops. <laughs> she had enough energy. <laughs> <laughs> well, this feels a bit better, isn't it? But that was a hot rod, eh? That was laying what, two minutes? Does he? <laughs> I've, got, I've worked out the secret bait, bro. <laughs> the learner's become the master, my bro. <laughs> Boy, yeah, yeah. Better fish. Put my ice cold beverage back in the cooler box. Another one, you just went garlic, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Look at me. Well, I'll tell you, it might not be big. It was far out, so. Mm. No, I only took a ratchet, so. Any head shakes? Not much. In the beginning, yeah. No, oh, copy. No, oh, that's a bit bigger. Could have a better one? No. Yeah. On that. No, it'll be okay. But if a bigger one of that species, it's probably the biggest one of today. Mm. So, yeah.
Guys, uh, just on the trace, this is known as a red flight trace. So basically you got your bomb that's running. Okay. And the new way of doing it now is with the gummy stops. Bass fishing guys are very, very familiar with them. Instead of a swivel in the past, the guys used to use another swivel. But now with the gummy, what's nice about that is you can set it. Sorry, my hands in the way. You can set it exactly where you want it. So once I made this bomb, I'll set this gummy all, all the way to the top. And it will sit here. So it won't tangle with your bottom hook. The other advantage of this one now being on the gummy and not on the swivel is now when the carp takes this top hook, what happens? It pulls this down. So now all your hooks is together. So getting stuck is less. Uh, before what used to happen with the old system, if you had a swivel there, if he takes this hook, you got a lot of chances of this hook getting snagged up. And then yeah, we just like to go with a, one small hook and then one bigger hook and then obviously then you go with a smaller floaty a bigger floaty bombs some guys like the sinkers the weights other guys like the yellow ones uh, sinkers and that's nice if you're not gonna get stuck a lot if you're fishing a dam that just came up say it just got flooded and there's a lot of new trees and vegetation underwater then this is the bomb to go for uh, this one is torpedo shape so what it does as you reel it out you reel it out fast because of the shape of this, this bomb shoots up to the top of a surface and then you can reel it out on the surface quickly so you don't get stuck. So yeah, that's why I like to use these ones. If we fetch a dam with a lot of vegetation or grass that you can get stuck so you bring it out on the surface. Lacquer. So you heard it there from, your, from the man himself. A lot of nice information for you guys that are interested in uh, carp fishing and that type of thing. Um, at least you got a little bit of idea how the, the setup is. Look, I'm actually like a newbie completely, so I've learned a hell of a lot today from Raynaud. So thanks for that, Raynaud. And yeah, hopefully you guys uh, got a little bit more information too. Um, so good stuff. We, let's see if we can get some more fish.